Alright, what's going on guys and girls? We're going to go ahead and move into this uh, level 2 bracket match. This is between Team Elusive and Team Animal Kingdom. Now you haven't seen a match with Animal Kingdom yet because Animal Kingdom won against Team D-Wolves by a disqualification. Um, D-Wolves was not able to get somebody on on their side in time for the match so they were just disqualified from the bracket. Um, so Team Animal Kingdom got a free pass on to second levels. We're gonna come up against uh, Elusive this time around, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting because this is gonna be them getting their feet wet in the second level of the brackets, which is gonna be jumping kind of into the deep end for them. But we're gonna see how it's gonna go ahead and pan out. So on bands so far, we've got Jackal, Sophia, and Doc. Taking a look at Team Elusive, we have Elusive 4K. Um, Coming back to us with a level 105 at gold 2 with a ranked win loss of 1.1, ranked KD of 1.1. Final ban is Caviera. Finally, for Team Elusive, we have Elusive Sunny. He is a Platinum 3 coming back to us with a level 181 with a ranked win loss of 1.2 and a ranked KD ratio of 1.3. Taking a look at Team Animal Kingdom, we have Tiger. Tiger is a Silver 2 coming to us at level 124 with a 0 0.9 ranked win loss, 0 0.6 KD. So for picks, we're seeing Elusive picking Hibana and Buck. For Animal Kingdom, we're seeing Alibi and Mozzie. The final player of Animal Kingdom is Zeke. 24-27. He is a gold 2 coming to us at level 164 with a 1.3 ranked win loss and 1.0 KD. For 6 picks, we're going to have a 6 pick from Alibi to Echo for Animal Kingdom. And it looks like Elusive Attackers is going to, to stick with their ops. So we're going to be playing this on Cafe Dostoevsky today. This was the map that uh, Animal Kingdom chose for their map in the coin toss. Um, Elusive chose Oregon, I believe, and um, Animal Kingdom beat out Elusive in the coin toss as a result of Tails. And so here we are. This is the map that they wanted. They seem pretty excited about the fact they won the coin toss. So we're going to go ahead and see what kind of strategies we have from them. Um, <coughs> Five seconds left. One of the things I'd like to know too is whether you guys like the format of the the way I do this as far as the the setup. Um, so what we do is we have each team that comes into it. The first two levels of the brackets are sudden death, and so you only have one match. So to pick the to pick the map, I've been having each team uh, suggest a map, and then I flip a coin to decide whether which team's suggested map is the map that we choose. Some teams have mutually agreed on maps, that's why you've seen Oregon pop up a lot in this. Um, we get a yokai on the roof of kitchen there. So we got Elusive 4K coming in uh, second floor with Hibana, he's going to drone himself in. Elusive Sunny's going to establish himself in Bakery it looks like. That's so what I do is I have him the flip, I flip a coin, and uh, that's how we determine what map we end up playing on. Um, I could either do that, or in the future I was thinking about possibly switching it up, depending on what the participants think, um, and doing it so that... the maps are chosen for each level of the brackets, and everybody plays on the same map, so you eliminate the variables. But I do it like this because it promotes versatility. Looks like Elusive Sunny's gonna have one right above him. He's gonna hear him. He's gonna pick up that sound cue. Echo Drone's watching him. That was an ambush waiting to happen. Oh, Elusive 4K's gonna flip around with Hibana and get the kill. And there it is. Elusive Sunny for the final kill in round number one for round one victory over Animal Kingdom. Ooh. That was a hell of a headshot right there.
Going into round number two, we're going to have Elusive showing Capcan and Clash, Animal Kingdom showing IQ and Hibana. We're probably going to see a switch based on the IQ from Capcan out to somebody else, probably Vigil or something. So here we go into six pick. We're going to see the IQ, but they're going to switch from Clash. That's interesting, Clash to Valkyrie. This, this IQ is going to have uh, a lot of work cut out for her between Capcan traps and trying to find and eliminate. And he is six picking from IQ to oh okay back to IQ. Whew. I was about to say, what are you doing, Defenders kid? Protect your bombs <laughs> from being defused by attackers. Oh man. So this is gonna put uh, this is gonna put Animal Kingdom in a pretty good situation, pretty good position to take out a lot of their electronics. I mean, based on the fact they have her, it should make Cap can practically useless as far as his gadget goes. Reppin' wise, looks like he's running a 9x19 PSM SMG PMM. Ten seconds to go. Valkyrie is running the MPX. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Looks like Elusive Sunny is already in. Oh no, wait, what the fuck? That was weird, it looked like she was showing up at it. Oh, it's cause Tiger was showing up on the screen by me. Getting some pre fires down, seeing if there's anybody Recharge holding the piano. Try to take out Hatch. Bomb located by attackers. This is Sunny comes up empty on the Nitro. A bomb has been located. I'm sure Lucy Sunny's gonna hear this. These guys are taking their sweet time, and with a minute left, they're gonna be forced to make a probably ill advised quick push if they don't hurry up and start closing the distance, making entry. Oh, let's see how this is gonna work. Oh, damn, Zeke's gonna drop the kill on Elusive Sunny behind the couch, even with Elusive Sunny being ready for it. Let's see if he sees the cap can, lower left. Oh, he's gonna run right into it. Clearing the way. Fifteen seconds left. He hits that shot. Oh no, he's not. Ten seconds left. Capcan's gonna go down to Zeke. That's 2k for Zeke. In round number two to secure the win for Animal Kingdom. Oh, so we're going to have Elusive Sunny showing Mont Montagne. We're going to have uh, Elusive 4K showing Habana for Animal Kingdom. We've got Tiger showing Smoke and Zeke showing Vigil. 
Looks like Monty's going to show a six pick. Monty's going to show a six pick over to Nomad. No six pick for Animal Kingdom. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Like, no, nah, man, you rotate, dude. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds left. <laughs> Moving out to locate a bomb and defuse it. Looks like 4K is going to drone in from spawn. Got one establishing themselves on the roof or balcony. There we go. Bomb located by attackers. Take out 4K's drones and bring him out of spawn. I always think the animation of picking up drones looks so funny. He's gonna air jab off on his back trail up here. Thirty-nine seconds left. It looks like looks like Elusive is just waiting for a rotate. That's not coming because these guys are just hunkered down. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds to go. Tiger's gonna go down. Five seconds remaining. Look at the fuser. He's probably gonna go for the plant right here. He must complete the plant. That's the sad part. He goes down to Zeke. He's gonna put Zeke up four to one. Animal Kingdom's overall score is a two match to one lead over Elusive in this final elimination level of the tournaments after after this there's no more elimination matches it is uh, best two out of three maps we have four teams going into semifinals um, and that's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty interesting a lot of good teams in there
Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. of a bomb. Mr. Sonny's going to go ahead and drop Tiger as he tries to peek the skylight up there above Var. Looks like we've got cams all around. There's a stack of legion mines over there. And there it is. Who's the son going to drop the kill on Zeke? To even it up. Two to two. Taking round four. Away. So that's two to two. Animal Kingdom versus Team Elusive. With Elusive Sunny going four and two, Elusive Four K going one and two, Zeke going four and two, and Tiger going zero oh and three. Elusive is going to show Hibana and Nomad. Animal Kingdom is going to show Smoke and Vigil. Going into six pick. need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Hell yeah, Domino's Pizza, baby! No, I don't have a Domino's Pizza fucking corporate sponsorship. I mean... I wouldn't be averse I wouldn't be averse to it, but no, nah, I'm just gonna order some. Mow down. Delicious. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds to insertion. Vigil's so fun. I just realized that. I didn't realize how fun Vigil was. Attackers are the there today. 
So we're going to have the same play out of uh, Elusive that we did last time. Mitchell 4 k is going to drone in after. Uh, no, he's going to get off this time, looks like. Attackers are activating the bomb diffuser. Oh yeah, hell yeah, I got some chicken Alfredo pasta with extra bacon, and I was like, you know what, nah, let me get extra, extra bacon, so they gave me double extra bacon on that shit, so, Ooh, yeah. Starving like Marvin, man. Sonny running around with his fucking 100 cents, dude. Five seconds I don't remaining. know. I don't know how high it is, but that shit looks pretty high. You notice when he, when he like flicks Attackers around, like whips around to, to go to like one side or the other? So he's hopping on drone, checking to see for the spawn. Looks like Zeke's gonna drone in and Tiger's gonna push. RVD scanning. Laying out the welcome mat. Just 
picking up a yokai right there. Yeah. It's on the other side of a wall there, tiger. He wants to get it so bad, look at him. He's like a dog who's just seen a frisbee. So looks like they're thinking there's roamers out there, which tells me they weren't able to drone them out in objective. Go ahead and get the yokai. Scanning for electronics. Looks like IQ's trying to find that other yokai. He's probably got another yokai out there. Gonna get himself a rotate hole and peek. Looks like our other yokai's an objective. Tiger's gonna go ahead and see it. So he's gonna be able to echo both of them. So lose his second yokai. At which point he's gonna hop off. Looks like he's gonna hold in freezer towards the front door. Probably gonna get a kill. Oh, you hear the shark going on? I think it's on the front door. 15 seconds to go. Here comes the push. Attackers dropped the diffuser. Lucy 4K is go. gonna drop Tiger going through the rotate hole. And drop Zeke. He also comes in. Well, there you have it. Lucif Sunny dropping 6 1 and 2. Lucif 4K going 3 1 and 3. 4 to 2 for a Team Elusive victory. Team Elusive will be proceeding on to fight against Team McClout in the semifinals.